Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the uh, history of Nick Drake. So, um, so Nick Drake, uh, who, who knows who Nick Drake is around this? Uh, yeah, well, it's all right. Good, good. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, the guy in the T-shirt. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we actually, it took, it took us years to actually get the bravery to actually do a Nick Drake show because uh, Nick Drake is so personal, uh, a performer, that, um, you know, we had to sort of make sure we got it. Right, and um, so uh, so I actually um, first heard of Nick Drake, um, Mikey Boy here. Mikey Boy actually, oh no, it's on the floor. He just changed in front of my eyes. That was um, that was quite freaky actually. That was, um, <laughs> um, I shared a house with, with Mike uh, on drums. Please, Mo uh, Mikey Boy, onto stage, and Andy Pill on bass as well. And uh, so I shared a house with with Mike and. Uh, and uh, Mike had an amazing sound system, and he, uh, and he actually introduced me to the box set vinyl of uh, of Fruit Tree, which was the, uh, the collection of works of Nick Drake. And uh, as soon as I heard it, it was amazing. It was just like so. It's just one of those moments where it just basically changes your life. Um, and uh, it's about the best thing about sharing a house with Mike. Actually, it was uh, was actually Nick Drake. Um, I think I think. Me leaving the potatoes in a in a drawer uh, and uh, forgetting about it for about six months until we actually realised what the smell was and we actually opened it up and it became like whiskey, uh, vodka. That's all right, whatever it is. <laughs> vodka. It was awful anyway. So um, this is a uh, so we basically in the fringe we did a like an influences of Nick Drake. So there's an album called um, Fruit Tree, uh, Family Tree. And Family Tree was basically his home recordings, and so he, he sort of showed a lot of influences like um, Bessie Smith and, and Bob Dylan and um, Bert Yanch and people like that. Um, they, he sort of influenced his music, and so we actually explored a little bit more of that um, in the Fringe show. And so um, we're going to do a, a song uh, by Davy Graham. So Davy Graham was like the grandfather of British folk, and uh, he basically travelled over to uh, Morocco and kind of uh, in, uh, sort of introduced the world to the, the tuning of Dadgad. Anyone know what an open tuning is around here? Dad can, yeah, cool. Um, that's all I get. That's all we get as blues players is, is actually uh, people who know open tunings, um, usually bearded men uh, who come up to me at the end of the show and say, "What tuning were you using? And what was your string gauge?" So um, for years I thought I'd actually get all you know girls and things like that, but no, you just get bearded men with, uh, with tunings. So um, so twelve gauge, Mar twelve gauge Martins. So actually, no, these are elixirs, and uh, and uh, this is standard tuning. Um, we're going to do a little song called Angie, and this is a song where. Um, in Les Cousins, we were talking about before, it was basically this was kind of the uh, the sort of the, the way you got into playing at Les Cousins was was playing this song. This is uh, and uh, Paul Simon did a version of it as well. Um, so it's a song called Angie. We're going to follow that song uh, by a song um, by Robin Frederick, who um, Nick Drake met in uh, in France, Paris, and uh, they kind of rumored to have this kind of relationship. They're never quite sure for. Was um, and she wrote a song called "Smoking Too Long" and he did the cover of that um, song as well.
Well, I woke up this morning and I looked at my clock. Way past noon time, I'm late for work. Don't tell me, what have I done wrong? Another right with me must be I've been smoking too long. Well, I go to my breakfast, but it ain't no good. I've been told fed, scared for cheese or corn. Tell me, tell me, what have I done wrong? Must be I've been smoking My worries on the shelf. All in my trade, can't think about myself. Tell me, tell me. Nothing right with me must be I've been smoking. To be learned, get smoking and you might get burned. Tell me, tell me, what have I done wrong? And nothing will ride with me, must be I've been smoking. Thank you, thank you. Marky Kirkham on the vocals. I'm going to do a, uh, a little John Martin tune with a song. Uh, There's actually a song written about Nick Drake. Uh, I've got a song called Solid Air.
you. Okay, I'm gonna do a little song. Uh, it's one of one of Nick Drake's most famous songs. It's got a song called uh, River Man. Said she prayed today for the sky to blow away, or maybe stay. She wasn't sure. For when she thought of summer rain.
<laughs> Thank you. We're actually running out of time quicker than we actually get to play these songs, actually. So let's do, um, should we do Road? Yeah. And then, yeah, all right, let's do that. Um, this is so much fun. We're having a lot of fun up here. Oh, thank you, thank you. That's awesome. Um, this is going to be weird, a little weird tuning we talked about before. <coughs> Something that Drake's weird wants. Um, this is E A D. E D E. For you nerds out there. E F F sharp G G. Actually, it's G sharp. So here we go. Drake. <laughs> Why can't I do that every fringe? That'd be awesome. Um, but if you want to hear the whole full story of Nick Drake, let's come up with me afterwards. But we ain't got time for, for talking, we got time for playing.
I'm going to do a, uh, a song. It's actually my favourite song, actually, off the, um, the Brighter Later album. Um, I never held emotion in the palm of my hand. I 
felt sweet breezes in the top of the tree. Now you're here, bright in my northern. I think we ran out of time. That was the last song of that set. We're going to do a, uh, a last, maybe a little uh, one last song. Do you want to hear one last tune? Oh, bless your cotton socks. <laughs> yeah, it's always one. Uh, we're going to get Corey forward back up on the stage to join us. He's going to actually d debut as a djembe player for the first time in his life. So. So we're going to finish on the... So that's the end of the, uh, of the Nick Drake show. Thank you for listening. Uh, thanks for coming tonight. They're absolutely um, brilliant. And there's going to be a little fun little jam at the end. Um, we're going to do a little Tim Buckley tune. Anyone know who Tim Buckley is around here? So there's a rumour that Mike started that actually Nick Drake did a cover of this uh, tune. We are yet to find any proof for that one, but... Um, <laughs> it's a convenient rumour. So we're going to do a little song here. Yeah. Hi, Tim Buckley, we're going to finish off. Thanks to Kevin Sound. Thanks to the Weedy for being so awesome. Thanks to Rhea over there on the door. Please give Rhea a big round of applause. And, stuff. and uh, we're going to finish on. Thanks to Jade over there as well. She's, uh, she's the, uh, the master lady of the whole wheat sheaf, and it's an amazing place. So uh, thanks very much. So, um, all right, let's do it. So, um, Andy Phil on bass. Corey Hoard on the bass and djembe. Michael Kirk on the guitar. Shawnee Martin on the drums. I'm the company's junior. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much. We'll see you later on. Thank you for coming tonight, and um, we'll see you soon. Thank you.